Hello there guys and welcome back to Titan Quest Let's Play. We stopped around here in the last episode we've defeated Barmano and I said that we're gonna start again from the rebirth fountain we tagged just before fighting him. So yeah, in this episode we'll be fighting the Garganton Yeti and moving further through the Silk Road. And in the last episode we fought Barmano. So yeah, if you missed that, don't forget to check it out. We kicked his ass. After nearly having ass kicked ourselves. Alright, so we've picked up a raptor tooth, epic raptor tooth. We already have two pieces, and there's a third one, so it'd be really nice to find two more pieces very soon because we want to replace raptor tooth here. We, if we want to have anything, any more amulets, we really need to wear something else because, because that one was. Oh, there's another one. So that's four pieces. But yeah, that one had nice damage bonus so we need something to match that you know all right so we're deep into the cave and we're ready to fight the gargantuan yeti so you mostly need cold resistance against him so we're gonna find and equip some stuff for the cold resistance we've got this ring here so i'm gonna replace one of my fire rings so we have 27 percent but 27 percent is enough to survive but it's still kind of risky so i'm gonna put this Dionysus wine skin which has the 23 percent Cold resistance bonus, so it makes it 50 overall. 50%. 50% is very safe, so you can actually go and kick his ass whilst getting, you know, pummeled. So he mostly has two powerful attacks, and yeah, he just performed them both. The first one is when he breathes, it does cold damage obviously, and it also freezes you in place, so you have to move it out the way. The other one is harder to avoid because it shoots these projectiles in all directions. Well, yeah, otherwise he just keeps whacking at you. And the whacking doesn't really do that much damage. I mean, he's only really dangerous if your cold resistance is low and you slip up, you know, and don't manage to dodge any of his attacks. Then yeah. He will often perform the two attacks, two special attacks, one after the other, he will freeze you in place first, like this, and then he will attempt to do that other attack to hit you, although he didn't do this time. But yeah, we've got enough cold resistance anyway. I've no idea what stunned him there. Something stunned him. There we go, kicked his ass. He's easier than Barmano, obviously. And he's still moving. Right. Now let's see what he's got. Let's, um... Put the rings back on. So yeah, that's a side quest, Garganton Yeti. I'm gonna put uh, this ring back on. And that's it, we didn't change anything else, so... Let's just see what he's got. Nothing, just energy potion and what's here? Code of Hom Two pieces of Code of Hammurabi. <laughs> no idea why he's hoarding that Code of Hammurabi there. I mean, we already had one piece there, so that's two more. We're just gonna complete that relic now. There we go. 27 intelligence and another 5% intelligence. So, yeah, if you need intelligence, you know where to go. And this is uh, the big room just after the Gargantan Yeti. This room is quite nice for farming Saber Claw because there are a lot of Saber Lines here. And it's pretty much by the exit from this cave where you're at the East Silk Road portal so you can always come here at any time and just farm for Sabercore if you really need it we have some Yeti here as well so you can farm for Yeti fur as well although Yeti fur is so easy to get I don't see a reason why you'd be struggling to find it see so yeah, and there's uh, plenty of them around here as well just at the exit already yeah just bashing them all in Colossus form we're still not getting many Saber Claw. Saber Claw drops very rarely for some reason. I hardly ever remember completing it. Alright, and this is where the portal is for the East Silk Road. And there's a rebirth fountain there, and this guy, the merchant, and that guy. Okay. Much further now, along the East Silk Road, it's just one of the caves big room here with loads of Neanderthals so take caution here big rooms often have quite a lot of enemies but yeah nothing to worry about otherwise 
All right, this is much further along the East Silk Road. This is when we start meeting Tigerman. So let's see how our character fares against the epic Tigerman. And here, you start hearing the music that plays in the Athenian war camp in Greece. Yeah, watch out for the mages. They love casting storm-related spells, lightning bolts, and I think they cast Squall as well, or something of that sort. They certainly do use staffs to do with lightning and cold quite a lot. Storm related, basically. Okay, we just leveled up. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at skill points. I wanted to keep putting points into Bata. I want to max it out as soon as possible. And also this, Heart of Frost, because it slows enemies down. It's very useful. So we're going to try to max that as well. Alright, and for the attributes I'd go the usual, st one strength, one dexterity. Our oh, dexterity is quite low. So I see our offensive and defensive abilities are sort of low. Alright. And here's these pack leaders. Remember the strategy against pack leaders, just come close so they put the battle standard and then lead them out of the battle standard range. Because if you fight them within the battle standard, Obviously, you're going to be fighting the much more powerful and buffed versions of, of them and all their allies as well. It's pretty much a one-way trip to a suicide or something. So yeah, just lead them out and then beat them. Alright, fifth epic raptor tooth. So we're going to complete it now. Just get rid of these guys and pick up triumphant tower shield. Let's take a look at that. There it is. Armor protection and damage reflected. It's okay. Alright. Let's complete it. Completion bonus. 1 to 4. Piercing damage. Um, yeah. It's kind of shit. I mean. On our previous one we had. 10% damage. And another 10% damage. So that was pretty decent. And this is just shit. It's shit alright. Great. All that for nothing. Right, and here, fighting the Yerans, which is the enemy you only meet twice in a game. So this is the first time you meet them, and the second time is in uh, the River Wetlands, just after the Yellow Emperor. Alright, so just, yeah, with these guys, watch out for the War Chiefs. They dual wield, they can even dual wield a spear with something else. Which is really weird. Other than that, they just nothing too special. Just have a lot of health, really. Domain of the Dragon Kings. So we had already one piece there. So let's combine it. Two pieces. And I'll put all the other relics here. Right. Yeah. Okay. There's another year and just walking around there. And okay, here we're nearing the Great Wall. Yeah, a few Yerans around here. But yeah, we shall stop this episode here and explore the Great Wall in the next episode. Speak to this guy. Get a side quest to fight the Colossal Peng. Over there. And we forgot to complete Mystery in the Mountains, actually. So good I've seen that. Let's, let's go back and actually finish that quest, get our experience. It's quite easy to forget to complete the quest because you just have to return to the quest giver for some of them. So here, we're back in Shanshung village and that's the guy who gave us the quest. Ta-da! 55,000 experience. Right, and we turn back to the Great Wall and make a stop. And we'll deal with the Colossal Peng in the next episode. Oh yeah, and I've done the child and the raptor as well, forgot to mention that, but it's a very tiny side quest. Alright, so see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.